Welcome to another video on SQL. This video is an extension of the first video that we just watched. The series will heavily use Oracle environment to teach SQL. However, at some point in time, we would like to use other platforms such as Microsoft SQL Server and IBM's DB2. Oracle is just one of the relational databases that use SQL. To master SQL skills, it is important for us to for us to understand the architecture of some of the relational databases so we can use SQL more efficiently. This video is dedicated to some of the terms that are related to the architecture and design of a relational database, especially Oracle. The most common terms are described here as you'll hear and use these words again and again. Revision from the last video a database is a centralized repository of data for a programmer. It might be just a collection of database files, also known as data files in Oracle. The next thing we need to understand is a schema. In all relational databases, there is a logical structure known as a schema. In fact, a schema does exist in, in databases that are not relational. A prime example is Windows Active Directory, which is a hierarchical database. A schema is simply a collection of related database objects owned by one user. So a set of objects that are owned by one user is known as a schema. It is like a container that holds database objects under a name, which is called namespace. A schema also describes the structure of a database. In Oracle, there is one-to-one -one relationship between a schema and a user. One a schema belongs to one user. So the term a schema and user are interchangeable. Many users, though, can have access to one a schema, but one a schema belongs to one user. The next thing on the list is instance. An instance is a set of programs and services running set of programs and services that not only read database files but also make database work. The next one list is entity. An entity means an object of interest. For example, customers and employees can be objects of interest that a company might like to store data about. In case of an employee, employee name, hire date, salary, department they are working for are attributes of an employee that a company might like to keep a record of. Similarly, a company might like to store inventory of items for sale. Items will be entities and item name, type, quantity, purchasing price, sales price and other things might be the attributes of the items that can be recorded in a database. Usually entity name is used as the table name for example, employees entity can be stored in a table called employees and uh, inventory can be stored in a table called inventory. Next thing and something very important to understand database objects, tables, views, synonyms, procedures, functions, indexes and sequences are all examples of database objects. There are many more types of objects. We'll learn about these objects as we continue to explore the strength of SQL in forthcoming lessons. However, in this video I'll shortly describe few most commonly used objects. One of them is a table. A table is at the core of any relational database. It is a two-dimensional structure which is composed of rows and columns. Rows store data about an entity and columns describe the properties or details or in database terms the attributes of an entity that are important to be stored. I've made a separate video on the topic. Data about any entity is stored in a table and collection of tables that is store entity data are stored in any database. So it is at the core of a table is at the core of any relational database. Very briefly some of the other database objects that are commonly used a view a view is a logical structure that can that can pull data from one or more tables it can also have the ability to perform mathematical calculations and then present data to a user as if it was a table it does not 
store any data of its own but uses data from other tables or views one of the main benefits view is that very complex sql queries and statements can be converted into views to make life easier and we'll see an example of it when we learn sql synonym is a duplicate name for another database object that has a complex name again it is used to make things easier in a complex environment sequence sequence is a database object that generates incremental values for a column of a table rather than user doing it now user data stored in a database is always owned by or belongs to a user there are two categories a user can be an individual or it can be an application an individual is someone who has the ability to create database objects as a schema owner or has the ability to connect to a database in order to communicate, insert, update, delete and control the data in database with the help of SQL. Each user has a login name and password and each user has a different level of access to the database. A user can be an administrator, programmer, clerical staff, operator, etc. All will have different access levels. An administrator typically has the highest level of access and clerk might just have enough access to be able to see data or enter data in order to perform his or her job.